Hey everybody, here we are again, and it's time to give the Mist Reporter from Jim Ball's Home Brewing a bit of a whirl. It's been in the fridge since I got it, settling out. <clears throat> Very difficult to see through it, so I'm assuming it's settled. can only see through it at the top, I can just about see through it at the bottom. So you may be able to see that or not. I'm going to finish blinding you with the torch. Uh, so it's a clone brew from a recipe from a small brewery with a bit of extra chocolate malt. Doesn't say how strong it is. It says Mystery ABV, it says drink me soon. So, enough wittering on. I'm assuming it's bottle conditioned. It's been, as I say, it's been in the fridge since I got it, which is nearly a week ago now. <coughs> and I took it out of the fridge just under an hour ago. Yeah. So I'll crack it open. Oh, before I actually, there's a bit of, I've never used these bottles, these plastic bottles, but there's a bit of give in it. Oh, a little bit of a hiss. That's about it. So we'll give it a pour. I think, uh, Stop it there. There is a bit of crud in the bottom. Right. Very, very dark. A little bit ruby red, perhaps, when it's a little bit of a thinner glass. I should have given the bottle a bit of a sniff, I suppose. Oh. Lots of chocolate in there. Lots of chocolate. Yeah. Definitely, definite chocolate on the nose. Nearly got chocolate up the nose. So let's dive straight in. Oh, there's chocolate, but there's a, a licorice, I'd say licorice, black licorice flavour, I'd say. That's very nice. There's definitely a black licorice flavour. The sort of black licorice that came from Sherbet Fountains. You know the bit that you ripped out, chucked away and at the sherbet? That, that, that licorice flavour. Carbonation's quite low. Even slightly lower than that, which is off the barrel. Um, St. Peter's Golden Ale. Only clearing palate with that, obviously. We'll go back in for another taste. That was that that is very bitter is the golden ale. Light but very bitter. This has lots of chocolate, you can smell the chocolate and you can taste the chocolate. You get an initial chocolate, followed by the licorice, which is very nice. The chocolate kicks back in and then the licorice comes back again. 
That's very interesting. Sort of like it goes chocolate, licorice, chocolate, licorice. Very nice, very, very nice. For a stout, probably just about the right sort of um, carbonation. You don't really want a lot of carbonation and it's probably just about the right temperature now. It could have perhaps been out of the fridge for maybe another quarter of an hour to half an hour to warm up a bit more. So it is carbonated. I beg my pardon. Absolutely, tons of chocolate on the nose. Very, very nice. Now it does say something about, um, it's ready for drinking as soon as it's settled. Uh, interesting to see if anyone can work out what it's based on. Chocolate. Chocolate malt it's based on. I know that's not the answer. Um, I don't really drink a lot of stouts. So I'm quite clueless to what it's actually based on. Uh, can we get a bit of a head going on? Yep, yeah, just about. Very nice. Um, slight smokiness there as well, I'd say. Not sure on alcohol content. I would say. five percent mid four to five percent I don't know that's uh, that's another mystery as well as why Brian's on the front Brian and Stewie so anyway Cheers Jimbo's uh, home brew, very nice, very nice to meet you at uh, Retford and I'll put links down in the comments below, in the comments, not in the comments, in the description below to, I'll try and find the video, not just his channel, right anyway, thanks for the beer, the I've not sampled the other one yet, obviously, otherwise uh, that will be up on a video. That will be coming soon-ish. I don't know. I might do a taste test between... Big <coughs> boy. My experimental winter ale, which... I've got to say I'm not keen on, not keen on at all. I've still got, I've still got double figure bottles. I'm not sure how many. And I only made it last year. It's been sat there. Been trying to give it away. <laughs> right. Anyway, cheers. See you next time. I'll stop the leathering now. So like, comment, and subscribe. And if you do comment, I will endeavour to get back to you. Right, cheers. See you next time. Bye.